For the advanced backstroker, we will now look at the rhythm and timing. Timing of backstroke is perhaps the easiest of all strokes, as breathing is not a factor directly involved. However, the timing of our hips, in essence our engine, is important, and the role of the body affects this. Again, we begin with simple streamlining, with or without fins. Progress to moving the hips and side kicking. The head stays still while the hips rotate. Kicks should actually be more effective when turning to the side and the swimmer should feel this. On poolside, the swimmer can demonstrate the hip turn with arms by the side. It is important that the hips begin the action rather than the shoulders. The head remains still. Swimmers may find it useful to practice this in front of a mirror. This is then performed in the water. The second step is the shoulder shrug. This is what initiates arm recovery. Again the swimmer turns, leading from the hips, then raises the shoulder to the chin, back down, then turns to the other side and repeats. Make sure the chin does not go down to the shoulder or the shoulder goes to the cheek, as shown in this example. By performing the second stage in the water, it is now obvious that the turning of the hips and the shoulder initiation creates a far more streamlined body position and the readiness for a long arm recovery. The third stage is simply hips turn, shoulder shrug, arm up and over, creating another hip turn and a repeat. An interim stage could be a half recovery before trying the whole stroke. As Flora now swims with more hip rotation, the stroke becomes longer and deeper. To really benefit from the streamlined stroke, also practice the catch with holding the hand in the water for 3 seconds before pulling. The swimmer can even scull during this time. This results in a longer stroke. Finally, we have the catch-up drill, which promotes a powerful catch and a deeper pull of the stroke. 